The first apparition I ever captured stands out of the most. A lot of the videos and pictures I, I get, I, I send it off to professionals. I always get their feedback as much as possible before I show this as evidence. I sent this one out. They couldn't debunk it. They looked through it over and over, had a round table discussion, and they left it. It's, it's something unexplained. This video clip I'm gonna show you, we're in the basement. We're gonna be doing an EVP session using a spirit ghost box, which is a device scanning through frequencies at a high level where you get and spirits are able to use that white noise and communicate with us. Well, we got very lucky down in the basement. Psychic medium, Lorianne, is sensing the child. Is there a little boy here? Is there a little boy here? Is there a little boy here? At this time, this is one of the better voices I ever captured. We picked up what we believe to be, it sounds like a little boy saying the word mommy. It, it actually breaks my heart. This is right after the EVP session that we did in the basement where we were talking to a little boy and we got our answers. We're up in the upper level where the projectionist used to play his movies. And as you can see when I play the video, we are going to be talking to a little boy who's seven years old with the name possibly Kevin. If you're a female, could you light up the flashlight again? I have a long pause because it takes a lot of energy and it takes time for them to be able to turn on the flashlight, turn off the flashlight. So if you see me pausing like that, it's, I'm trying to give them time to, uh, to answer. If you're a male, could you please light up the flashlight? If you're a child, if you're a kid, could you turn it on? Wow. Wow, I didn't realize we were talking to a child. Cool. Yeah, that, that floored me. I, I had no idea it was gonna turn up uh, to be a child. You know, if you could turn it off. Oh, cool, thank you. You know what, we're going to guess your age, so we're going to count. We're going to keep on counting, and then once we hit your age, just make it uh, light up bright. Are you three? Three years old? Okay, I'm going to change it now. Are you four? Four years old? Are you five? About six. Seven? Seven years old? At this point now, we know we have a seven-year-old child. Now I'm trying to figure out if it's male or female. And we're gonna get our answer right now. We still got to determine if you're uh, a little boy or a little girl. So I'll, I'll start out with a little boy. Are you a little boy? If so, could you turn on the light? Oh, thank you. You're a little boy. It floors me. I, I just can't believe it. This is probably one of the best evidence that I've ever captured in this backs up the psychic mediums, what she felt, and the EVPs we got with the little boy coming through saying uh, mommy, and now we have it interacting with the flashlight. Well, to this day, it still bugs me we never got to go back there to follow up on a 
a follow-up investigation because I really wanted to send that boy to the light if at all possible, if he was willing to go. It still haunts me to this day that I wasn't able to get back in there to, uh, to help this boy. The Congress Theater, in my opinion, is one of the most haunted locations in the city. Before we did our investigation, we had a walkthrough with psychic medium Susan Rowland. One, two, three, four. Four spirits, three men, one woman. And I, I thank her for her help because uh, she told us where to place the cameras. Down there, you're going to find some heavy duty murder down there. Because she was telling us she sees spirits sitting there. The projection is still is showing movies to other spirits that are here in the building. This investigation was non-stop activity the whole night. But this one, it's kind of scary. But I believe, and my team believes, it's saying, I'm going to rape you. And we do have female investigators that are walking with us. I'm not a huge orb or light anomaly believer, but this, I, I cannot explain. I even had it sent to professionals. They're floored by it. And something big comes out of the door, goes about halfway, turns around and goes back in. And there's no way this can be dust. It's not dust, it's not bugs. It's very cold outside. There's no bugs around. Now here's another one. There's a stairwell right here, and it comes from the stairway, the stairwell, and watch the angle as it goes through the door. Now this is intelligent. It's, it, it, I believe it to be spirit energy. It's not a full apparition, bodied apparition. We're just seeing part of the energy. I've never, ever seen anything like that before in my life. Out this doorway, this is where the light anomalies, the orbs, whatever you want to call them, are coming in. Now here's the seating. Watch right here. It reminds me of like a snowball size. Shoots up like a rocket and takes off. And this is the area where Susan Rowland was telling us the spirits were sitting down watching the movies that the projectionist was playing for them. Now here's another one coming from here, heading back. And you're gonna have another one that hops over the seat, comes up from the seat and jumps. Hey! Hey! Check this here. Before you do anything else, like, subscribe, and share. I want a TV or I'll hit you with a nub.